Hey, what's up everyone? I'm here at the off-grid ranch at my friends Chad and Lisa's place uh, in Arizona and it's a really cold morning. We woke up to temperatures right at about 4 degrees Fahrenheit and so I made for a pretty chilly start to the day because there was some wind associated with it. I ended up not even truck camping. I stayed in the um, bathhouse. They have like a 200 square foot um, outhouse that has heating and all that stuff and so I Come see her this way. I stayed in there last night, but uh, temperatures are warming up now. There's probably about, I'd say eight inches of snow on the ground with this last snowstorm that came through Arizona and hammered Flagstaff. That's why I left uh, the Sedona area. There's just too much snow to deal with and everything was wet. All my supplies finally got to the point to where gear was wet, food was wet because ice ran out even though it was cold. Bunch of other stuff. Hey, see her over here. Um, but anyway, got here last night. Like I said, it was cold, but the temperatures are warming up. And I imagine we'll probably be socked in for, oh, uh, maybe like two days as the roads dry out. Because there's some washes and stuff like that that you drive through on the way here. And uh, I think it's going to be too muddy for us to even four wheel out. But anyway, we're heading over to this tree stand. So I'm going to shut down for now. Corral Sierra, get her with me. And then we're going to... Check out the views from up there. All right, we are here. Gonna hop up on this perch and see what the views look like. I'll bet it's gonna be incredible. So let's go ahead and head on up. Certainly there are cool views around here, but it's getting a little windy. So I'll only stay out for a little bit. But just checking out all these different mountain ranges off in the distance. There's there's one right here, way far out there. It seems like some pretty cool looking mountains. So let's go check that out. But yeah, I'd say the views from up here are pretty vast. You can see. What's up everyone? Hey, I wanted to provide a little tip for those of you who like hiking in the snow and want to have a place to sit. What I'll do is I'll go to a rock that has like a really good view. And this one right here, this view is sick. Check this out. Zoom in, you can see those mountains way off in the distance there. So anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be wanting to sit here quite a bit and probably do my meditations at this exact spot. But, you know, it was covered with snow and you got to think that with the sun being out like this, you can really, really speed up the snow getting off the, the rock if you just um, just remove the snow and, and allow the passive solar to heat up the rock. And then that in turn you know, will melt the snow and get the rock dry. So just a little bit of advice for those of you who may, might be new to winter, uh, winter hiking and, you know, just stuff like if you don't have a... A, a Z seat, those little thermarest things that fold out for backpacking or anything to put down, then you can do something like this. And within, like, I'd say an hour's time from now, this will probably be dry and I can sit on it and enjoy this killer view. So it's a really nice day here at the ranch. I mean, even though there's a bunch of snow on the ground, the temperatures are probably, I would say, oh, I'd say it feels like 40, 45. So it feels real nice. Um, but I think the real temperature is around 30. But anyway, this full sun sure is making it really comfortable. So. All right, so we just checked out some parts of the property. It's really nice around here. It's nice and quiet. There's, not a lot of, there's like no one driving by. And it seems that the um, airflow patterns, the planes going overhead are so far off in the distance, you can't really hear them. So it's really nice and tranquil out here. Um, I need to go this way. But I think we're gonna go ahead and head back to the building there and uh, cook some lunch and then see what we can do this afternoon we're kind of waiting for this snow to thaw out so that we can build a greenhouse and that's what I was going to document while I'm out here but at the present moment everything is really snowed in like look on the ground here and see how much snow there is so um, can't really build in that so we're just going to kind of hang out and I figured this would be a good chance for me to scout around the property and kind of get my bearings a little bit so um, but anyway any project we do out here I'll videotape and share it with you all and then I'm gonna 
Chad's gonna go through his battery system. I think both he and Lisa are gonna sit down with me and we're gonna go through all their solar stuff. They have a really impressive solar field. They can run a washer and dryer out here. No problem on their energy supply. So anyway, uh, weather's warming up. Hopefully this continues and we'll be out of the mud soon once the snow melts.